fucking state is fucked. You're getting robbed. Ah, pussy. Eat shit. You Good lord above. You Who are oh, I am so ah. sorry. I don't mean to pry, but is it true about all them bikers that got killed? All you do is pry, Melvin. It's the only thing you got left. I have been feeling fairly betrayed recently by the local community, yes, and seeking reparations for any wrongdoings. I always kind of liked Johnny K. Oh, oh you, oh, you did, did you? Well, there might still be a bit of him on the bottom of my foot if you're pining for a reunion. No, no. Just forget I said anything. I don't know where Janet's meeting those young foreigner men, but it ain't in the Yellow Jack Inn. does what you need. So you have to talk... to it, rub its chin, and then grab his member and crank the life out of it. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. That's the show Beyond Insemination, which is also on this channel. But what isn't on this channel until now, listeners, is the startling fact that in the ancient text of the Sumerians, they talk about the Anunnaki lizard beings that descend from the sky. This is in Mesopotamia, which is modern-day Iraq. All those wars over there start to make sense now, huh? Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before asked... I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money! And tidy my shit up! Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. Oh. 
You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um. So, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost descended on this fine town, looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, wasn't you the one who, well, sent them on their way to begin with? Floor. The Lost Camp! Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place. The assholes here, they slipped. Ice took a hold of this whole place. You're lost, but you are not forgotten, brothers. We'll find that motherfucker. I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Sit tight, little buddy. Don't be long.
Let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. That go okay? I heard lots of banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family in a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna f oh. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away! We nearly there yet? No, Wade! Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? I thought we were going to Los Santos to see the famous folks. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't... I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral. Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Hey! Aww. A local woman found love from government spying. Apocalypse News. Scientists say ah, the asteroid Trip. known as QC7 will be dangerously close to Earth next week. If a collision occurs, the 1.5 mile wide space rock would cause catastrophic damage and most certainly wipe out our species. Space rocks have tried to annihilate mankind before. 50,000 years ago, an asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs after a man foolishly listened to his woman and ate a piece of forbidden fruit. Scientists warn the asteroid will pass 20 million miles from Earth, which they say is really, really close. Jeanette Adams says she is so glad the government has been collecting phone records and reading citizens' email. I think he's gonna get a scholarship. He hits real good, real good, like, like one of them crackheads you read about them picking up north. 
but my wife won't let him play because his grades are low on account of him getting his girlfriend pregnant. Uh, uh, him, I mean, uh, not my wife. My, my wife can't get pregnant no more. Uh, uterus is ravaged like the projects. Anyway, I need that boy to make a lot of money by going pro so that I can get a new fast boat. What am I going to do, Gray? I, I can't stop crying. Brother, I share your pain. Let it go. Let those tears go. Let it all flow out your eyeballs, down to your cheeks. I love you, my brother. I love you. You're better than this. You are better than this, sir. Reach deep inside of yourself. This shit and real shit. Also, I saw that. That's it. That giant sprawl. Los Santos. Oh! Get, get, get! Get, get, get! So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. You floating! You are floating, girl! Now say um and you float and rise on up off the ground right now in front of all these people on the radio. Okay, alright. Uh, uh, now listen, you better rise! Off the ground! Defy the... So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. Hmm? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! I got where you're going to my cousin. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this Fuji beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke and it was all going well until one day just before he got his wings an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable grounded him for life that's terrible it was sent him to a deep pit of doubt despair and just then ju just as he hit rock bottom he met a fat Silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Oh! And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club, and they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Hey, Go straight on here. Now keep going. So now here's like a rat. Just straight over this one. Floyd! Floyd! Come up here, Trevor!
Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go. Both of you. My girlfriend? She'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. Guy, my favorite. 